Hello everyone, and I'm back with another video. This is a Adafruit instrument, which is just basically a combination of four different trellis boards put together in an acrylic case. This is a MIDI instrument. That stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, which is basically just a small computer that can send inputs to a larger computer, which will play sounds. Basically, when I press one of these buttons, it'll get a contact which will light up an LED inside one of these rubber pads as well as send information to my laptop about what note was pressed, how long, how hard I pressed the note, etc. My computer will then use a synthesizer program to play back out sounds. I have a Mac so I'm going to be using GarageBand. There are a couple of different cool features of the MIDI instrument as well. So I'm just going to be using a basic Hello World that you can actually get from Adafruit which is when I press one of the notes you'll get to hear what it does. So I'm going to plug it in, head on over to GarageBand, and hopefully you'll be able to hear the notes coming from my laptop as I play them. So you can see, as I go along and as I go up the rows and columns, you can hear the pitch getting higher and lower. For the same sound, you get higher as you go across. For the different sounds that are going up and down. So you can see, as I make contact with this, there's a push button on the bottom which says, you pressed it, so I'm going to light up the LED inside it, as well as send the command to my laptop to play that song. And you can change the instruments as well through GarageBand. So you have tons of free reign to play whatever songs you want to. So now I'm going to try and reset the program on the fly to the step sequencer which is actually very similar to an iPhone game that I used to play called Beatwave and what this is going to do is it's going to step through a beat and allow me to play a little song instead of just hitting notes all willy-nilly We're going to see if we can get this to upload correctly. We have to try this one more time. There we go. So now we can see as it goes across, that's basically the beat that you have to go on. So when I hit one of these keys, it'll stay lit and as, it, as the beat goes across, it'll play them. and change the notes.
Let's see if we can find one that's really cool. Alright, it says engineering in the name, so you know I have to press it. This is a fun little kit that I got to put together. It involves a lot of soldering as well as uh, some mechanical stuff. What I can show you. That, uh, what the board looks like is basically we have an Arduino Leonardo underneath here in this acrylic case, which has its pins connected to these Adafruit trellis boards. There's four of them that are all soldered together inside this acrylic case. And there's the massive wires that's connecting the entire thing. And um, really the, uh, the trellis boards just make it easy for you to get a board that already does a lot of logic behind a contact for a push button as well as doing an LED interface. Um, the Arduino Leonardo is a very simple use case for MIDI devices as well. Um, the real thing that I thought was beneficial for this kit was just the laser cut acrylic case because it's just so much better to have a case already made for you that looks really nice instead of trying to 3D print your own and design your own and take time to do that because a lot of the software and a lot of the uh, electronics part of it isn't so bad, but when you have a nice case that looks like this and has rubber feet on it, you can take it anywhere. Uh, you plug this in, it's very small. You can actually get these um, in twice the size as well, or just one of these little 4x4 four four, uh, 16 LED trellis boards if you want to do that instead. So I've seen people do those, but this is a really fun project, and uh, if you ever get a chance to get one, definitely check it out. Alright, thanks for watching.